What's up everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back. Uh, this is my first podcast. I just kind of wanted to go over some things. Um, first off, uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 video about the horses. Uh, yeah, that is taking off and I never expected it to do that. So that's pretty amazing. Um, you have to excuse me, I got some bad heartburn right now. But, from the fruits of my labor, we have gotten some subscribers, some new people to the channel, and that is awesome. I think a goal for me, by the end of this year, would be to have at least 20 subscribers, which I'm hoping I can get more, but 20 would be awesome. Uh, it's enjoyable that people actually watch my content. I'm happy because... I'm not trying to do anything from it. I've just always wanted to do it, and uh, I, I just find I find entertainment in creating stuff. I'm pretty creative as it is, but yeah, like making videos and the cinematics are my favorite. They just take absolutely forever for me to edit and stuff. But. Yeah, the reason you've been seeing me play a lot lately, and uh, just me alone, is because, you know, Shadow Wolf's kind of going through his ways and stuff, kind of like everybody does in life, and uh, his equipment isn't uh, up and running to go, and he just moved and stuff recently, so. He's been out of the game, but I'm sure we'll see him back uh, around the time the big games release. Um, we are definitely going to play Battlefield 5. Battlefield's like my bread and butter, and I know it's Shadow Wolf's favorite game. Uh, we got plenty of games to play, it's just that we have to find time to play them. I work a full-time job, he works a full-time job. It's a little difficult to just find the time in the afternoon, plus I got the baby on the way, and then we're, uh, I'm getting married in the beginning of September so we've been planning and getting ready for all that and stuff and just had a lot of things taking up my time here recently to uh, be able to do YouTube and play games in general but uh, yeah he's he, he'll be back he's not gone he hasn't quit or nothing like that and we plan on taking this farther in depth next year and tackling more games but yeah Red Dead Redemption 2 we are definitely going to be playing that. I am for sure. I'm going to be doing a whole playthrough and it's going to be hour upon hours end of me just riding around and uh, doing side missions and completing the story and interacting with people in that game. It looks absolutely amazing. If they say it's as big as... Well, they say it's like four times bigger than GTA V's map, so... That's already going to be absolutely huge, and I know it doesn't seem that big, but you got to think, like in GTA 5, like it doesn't take too long to get across that map, but you are in a car doing like 110 mile an hour wherever you go, or flying a plane, you know, and it's not, they don't have to put the, like, the attention to detail in the map and stuff like they do in Red Dead, because you gotta think you're on horseback and you're gonna be walking a lot so they're gonna put every little bit of attention and detail into um, like every corner and every tree and everything it's just gonna be insane how in-depth the game is gonna be and the fact that you can interact with the NPCs the way you can it's just it's mind-boggling <laughs> at most it's from what I can say about it but yeah um we will for sure be playing through that and i'm gonna finish my lost on mars gameplay simply because i want a full playlist of that and i know it's not uh, well far cry 5 in general isn't the most uh adored game this year and Actually, around all of YouTube, people that have played Far Cry 5 and done videos on Far Cry 5, including like my favorite, Neves Gaming and stuff, it just didn't fall through. The, the, the content's there, but the people aren't really that interested in watching it. I don't know why, it's a fantastic game. 
and I recommend anybody to play it. I mean, it's just an all-around great game. Uh, Far Cry 2 was probably my favorite, but yeah, five five's good. I like that it's you know in America and everything's relatable. It's just it's just a fun game. The DLCs are cool. I think the Vietnam one's cool. I already played through it, so. But yeah, I'm gonna finish The Lost on Mars, so you can watch it. Or you don't have to, but maybe one day when we have like three or four hundred subscribers or something, and somebody's just sitting at home bored, they can get on there and they can just watch through it. It'll be there on the channel for them. And that's really just what I want. I just want people to enjoy the content that I have to offer and to put out. And I put a lot of time and effort into making my videos and edit, editing them. And my playthroughs, they, they're a lot simpler to make because I don't have to do so much edi editing on them. But uh, um, the cinematics and stuff is what I like doing the most. They just take forever to do. Uh, another thing... I want to go over is uh, if you do watch my videos and you actually take the time out of your day and your time to uh, enjoy the content I have put up on my channel, uh, leave some comments, leave some feedback, tell me some games you'd like me to play or or uh, check out, and and I will. I have no problem with that. I, I'm no I'm no rich man. I work and live paycheck to paycheck, but um, I do enjoy playing games. I always have. Um, I have a really different perspective on a lot of games like for me personally I and this might not stand for everybody but I can't stand Fortnite uh, I have PUBG but I don't really play it that often I'm not really too big into the battle royale thing it's cool it's a really neat concept but another, one of the facts is, is I bought Fortnite in the beginning to be able to build a base and fight off hordes of zombies I didn't buy it to run around in a bunny costume shooting people like, like a hundred other people was dressed up as unicorns like that's not what I bought that game for and the fact that they completely abandoned their original idea of a game like their original build of a game just to make money from the battle royale really pisses me off like I, that gets to me because you know I spent 30 bucks of my hard-earned money that I worked for to buy that game to look forward to playing it and seeing it updated and stuff and they just completely abandoning it I mean so I do not support that game whatsoever and they will never see a minute of my time in invested into their game um, but PUBG's alright it's a little bit more realistic and I like realistic war games like I said Battlefield's one of my favorite games and I play Arma on the PC and stuff it's just I don't have the time to play much armor anymore because it takes hours to just complete one game and I do like the you know the meal sims and stuff in there and uh, but yeah shooters are my favorite and I like for honor a lot there's just where it's been free here recently and stuff and all the new shit coming out a bunch of people have got on there and it's a little bit garbage right now and they still can't fucking figure out their servers, but that's just Ubisoft for you. We should expect that from them. Uh, but yeah, uh, Battlefield 5, definitely going to be playing it. Red Dead 2, hell yes, going to be playing it. Uh, I'm excited. And uh, one thing I would like to comment on is... I've seen everybody talking about that, oh, Battlefield 5 is a failure and Battlefield's trash this year because of the SJW and shit and the women being in combat and stuff. And I agree to a certain extent. There wasn't really all that many women on the front lines in combat during 1940 to 1945. Uh, not many that were told of anyways. 90 percent of the fighting was done by men against other men and the whole prosthetic arm and stuff like that's just a marketing thing really for them they're just trying to find a new group of people which I don't really want those kinds of people playing my game not not saying anything against handicaps but I'm talking about the uh, political correct kind of people I don't I don't agree with what they have going on but um yeah, if you were to have anything blown off back then, like nowadays, 
you get discharged, okay? And you get sent home and you don't fight no more wars. Now, granted, that for the people that lived in Europe and stuff, yeah, they could have got discharged from the military or something, went home, picked up a rifle, and just went back at it. Uh, I mean, that's what any old redneck here in America would do. Except half the fucking country is scared of fucking guns now. But when it comes down to it, and the gameplay and stuff, it's not going to be worse. I mean, it's not going to be bad. Like, you don't play in third-person perspective in Battlefield anyways. You play in first-person perspective. You're behind a rifle. The most you're going to see of anything in that game is the backside of your uh, front post. Uh, and your reticle. That's, that's just Battlefield. I mean... So, for people to say that it's lost its touch and that it's, you know, trying to accept other people's agendas and whatnot and all that bullshit, I, I don't agree with that. I think for when it comes down to the gameplay, that's all that really matters in a game is how it plays and the experience you get from playing it with your friends or however you decide to play it. And the, I've seen that they've added, like, blowback and stuff and all kinds of different uh, things to make gameplay more immersive and, and better in Battlefield 5. Also, I've seen where people say, oh, they're sick of World War II games, they're sick of old games and old style games, like, based in, you know, eras before our times, uh, our, you know, gamers' times. But to be honest, man, I'm a huge fan of history. Like, that is the most important thing we can, you know, uh, learn in life is our history. Like, what we came from and what's built our nation and what's built us as people. Um, what's built us into what we are today and personally World War 2 games have always been one of my favorites and I've played every World War 2 game out there that you can play I swear I have I mean I had a PlayStation 1 I started playing Call of Duty then I played uh, back when Call of Duty was actually Call of Duty and it was good <laughs> Now, talk about a franchise that's fallen under political correctness. Uh, that's the one you gotta go for. I mean, seriously, it's a war game and you put dabbing in it, cheetah print, like, no. Not for me, anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see World War II on the Frostbite engine and on a next-gen console. That's just exciting to me. Another thing I am mad about, though, in Battlefield 5 and any World War 2 game in general really is that they always focus on the European campaign and I know it's probably just me that I'm a Marine I get mad about this but like the Marine Corps and the Navy with a little bit of help from the Army pretty much took the whole uh, Pacific theater by themselves they you know they ran into strong enemy force on every island they hopped to against the Japanese and fought an unwilling enemy that w w would go to his death rather than rather than uh, run away. I mean, would literally just run at you with everything he's got or blow himself up with a grenade on his belt rather than run away from his battle. So, and that's more intense. I mean, to me it is anyways. And they didn't do it with the help of, you know, France and Great Britain and everybody else. They did it by themselves. The the U.S. military did it by themselves. You know, because of Pearl Harbor and stuff. Nobody really had any say into it. And then, there was an Axis force, but I mean, for the main part, it was the, it was the Marines. That, and there's no game out there that is in a World War II era that focuses on that. And if I was a game developer, I'd make one hellacious fucking game that's devoted just to that theater. But I doubt Battlefield's ever going to do it. And another era of history I like that I would like to see Battlefield make 
is uh, Vietnam. I, I think Vietnam's cool. I think the soldiers and Marines that fought over there and the airmen in the Navy that lost their lives they don't get the credit they deserve and you know a lot of people overlook that and along with the Korean War my grandfather fought in the Korean War uh, and uh, everybody overlooks that I mean it's called the Forgotten War for a reason and that's exactly why uh, yeah I don't know I'm rambling but uh, yeah I just wanted to go over a couple things um, I encourage everybody to check out my other videos they might not be the best and I'm trying to get better as I go but it is what it is and uh, I guess I'm done so uh, we'll see y'all next time